uh, so recent developments uh, around longevity, you would have heard, you know, there's drugs like uh, metformin that uh, has increased the health span of mice by 30 to 40 percent, and rapamycin. Those sort of drugs are actually working in mammals, um, and they're actually doing human trials right now to extend healthy human lives. Uh, we've got uh, also uh, people like uh, Elizabeth Parrish, who's started her own company, being patient zero and doing gene therapy on herself to essentially see how she can extend the length of her telomeres using gene therapy. Uh, so yeah, she's reported positive results, but we need that broader clinical trial approach to, to make it scientific. Um, so this is sort of an example of biohacking, you know, citizen science at the forefront working to actually make science happen. And collectively, if we get the numbers, we actually can put it together in a paper to make it happen. Uh, nebula genomics also happened recently. We've got George Church, who's sort of got his fingers everywhere in anything genomics based. Uh, he's uh, sort of a co-founder of uh, Nebula Genomics, looking to put your DNA onto the blockchain so you can actually sell it yourself. You can monetize the sequencing of your, of your DNA if you wanted to, right? And you can also keep it secure that way as well. Um, and this is one way because you know, gene editing, so gene editing really cries that data. But the sequencing of DNA itself has been dropping exponentially since uh, when it was a multi-hundred million dollar project, yeah, only a few decades ago, but uh, look at it today, it's uh, looking at under a thousand dollars. And as we get closer and closer, we could look at a, a freemium model uh, using this sort of potential technology. And China has actually gene edited 86 people already, so um, this is as of uh, 2015, but they only recently reported by the Wall Street Journal. Um, and this really sort of got through CRISPR over this sort of uh, this trough that they had because you know people were reporting that it wasn't going to be uh, as effective on humans, you know, given how you know, our immune system works and potentially could block it. Um, CRISPR is something that could literally, you know, like a cut and paste approach to your DNA. Um, and this is looking at um, how we can actually mass supply this um, potentially to increase our healthy lifespan. 